I'm Josiah Ingalls, and I'd like to talk to you about the upcoming election. Ted Cruz is running for re-election, and I want to encourage you to give him the boot. I'm going to give you several reasons of why he has screwed over the state of Texas and why he doesn't deserve your vote. You may have voted for him in the past, or maybe you didn't, but this coming election, we need real leadership. And I'd like to be that person to represent you and to be there for you, to hear your voices and to help fight for the things you need. But this idiot has keeps screwing over the state of Texas and screwing you over. Every chance he gets, he'll screw you over for his personal benefit and the benefit of his cronies. When it comes to the environment, this idiot keeps screwing us over on the environment and all the things that we need because of our changing environmental s situation and global warming, whether it's man-made or cycles of the earth, it's irrelevant. But we know that we're having more hurricanes and we know that we're having in stronger hurricanes and we know we're having in more flooding and we need leadership that's going to be there in our time of need. But this city keeps screwing us over whenever he has an opportunity to do something meaningful in Washington to help our in environment and the situations that come with environmental changes, he keeps screwing us over. When it comes to health care, he keeps screwing over the state of Texas as well every chance he gets. He says all the time that he's proud of how he tried to undo Obamacare and maybe that was the right move for some people at that one time but it's not the right move anymore. Too many people rely on it now and without a plan on how to get fix that and how to replace it with replace it with something else we can't get rid of Obamacare. We can't just get rid of it and decide we'll figure out what to replace it with later. That's going to put millions of Texans without health insurance. That's going to harm a lot of people. Ted Cruz has taken really no action to help expand Medicaid in the state of Texas. Instead, we have so many people without health care that really need it. And Ted Cruz keeps screwing us over. Every chance he gets, he screws us over on health care. Look at that face. He doesn't really care. He's having a good old time screwing you over. He wants to take away your health care. And he still says on his website that one of his accomplishments was trying to undo Obamacare. I'm sorry you failed. How are you going to promote a failure as a win? That's just more rhetoric. Empty rhetoric. When it comes to human rights, we're always needing someone to keep fighting for human rights and help be there to make sure that we're making progress instead of going backwards. But Ted Cruz doesn't want to do that. His actions show that he doesn't really care about human rights. He wants to yell about human rights at the border when it comes to people immigrating into Texas, but he doesn't really care about human rights of Texans. When it comes to education, he doesn't really care about education. He's always spitting off some kind of rhetoric, but when it comes to keeping kids safe, he's always saying, well, thoughts and prayers every time there's another school shooting. Well, thoughts and prayers aren't going to keep kids safe. Thoughts and prayers aren't going to keep them from fearing for their lives just because they, when they get on the bus. No, we need real action. We need real plans. We need some real solutions, something with substance. But every time Ted Cruz is up there in front of the camera or on his podcast, he's always spitting off empty rhetoric. Look at his website. It's all simple stuff. There's really no substance there. How are we going to give him another six years if he can't pony up with some kind of substance after all these years of inaction and failure to act where we need him to act? And when it comes to women's rights, he doesn't really do what we need him to do. Instead, he's promoted a line of rhetoric that has turned strong Texas women into more property of state than free people. He's always spitting off rhetoric about how we need to have more freedom and more rights and making sure that big bad government doesn't take away our rights. But he's perfectly fine taking women and turning them into property of the state with these abortion bans the way that they're written. The way that they've been written and the way that they've been done and it doesn't actually benefit Texans and women and it doesn't benefit Texas families and it doesn't even benefit the agenda of having more rights and freedoms the basic platform of the Republican Party. So when it comes to women's rights, he keeps screwing over women's rights. We need real leadership. We need someone that's going to fight for everyone and not just those that scream loudest from the mountaintops. 
When it comes to immigration, Ted Cruz is always spitting off rhetoric about the immigration crisis. But he doesn't offer any real solutions and he doesn't want to look at the real cause. The real cause is the fact that our free trade policy with Mexico allowed big companies to flood the Mexican market with cheap grains, destroying the agricultural industry in Mexico compared to what it used to be. Now those people are coming here for jobs. It's negatively affecting our economy and it's taking jobs away from families in Texas. Free trade is a failed experiment that has only benefited the wealthy and every time that we need good jobs, we also need good immigration policy. Well, free trade and immigration are one in the same. And so he keeps screwing us over on immigration. He keeps screwing us over on, on good jobs. When it comes to quality of life, all the things I've mentioned above all contribute to quality of life. But more often than not, Ted Cruz says he wants to help the quality of life of Texans, but his actions show that he doesn't really care about the quality of life of anyone but him, his family, and his cronies. And the 1%, he has left us all behind while he keeps making as much money as he can while he's in office. So we're having a worse quality of life, and his quality of life has gotten a lot better because he's found ways to profit from being senator. Like his social media, he's always on social media. But well, YouTube and Twitter and other social media pays top draw people for every view, every like that they get. That's why he's always online. That's why he's always on social media because he's profiting from his position as much as he can while neglecting you and me. We need real leadership. We need leadership that's going to help the veterans. Veterans are suffering across this country. In a lot of ways, veterans don't have the health care that they need. They don't have the health care they need because they're trapped into the VA system. They can't go to the private ind industry, get the health care they need, and then send that bill to the VA administration. No, instead we see all these stories over time of how Veterans Administration has dropped the ball on veterans and they, they don't help them. When it comes to homeless veterans, Ted Cruz doesn't want to help the homeless, but the homeless crisis is also the crisis that's spilling over into every community and town and is affecting everyone. The homeless crisis is a direct symptom of the lack of good jobs. Jobs we don't have anymore because of all that free trade what good is all that free trade and cheaper products if we don't have good jobs to pay for those cheaper products? So we lack real leadership. Ted Cruz has shown over and over again that he keeps screwing over the state of Texas when it comes to leadership. He screws over the state of Texas every time that we have a, a situation that we need someone to stand against power and do the right thing. The people of Texas keep getting screwed over by this idiot. And now, well, here we are in its election cycle time, and Ted Cruz is trying to paint himself as the jobs candidate, that he's the, the candidate that's bipartisan. He's as much bipartisan as Hitler could become a Jew. But no, he's full of rhetoric, and now he's doing and saying whatever he can to get re-elected the same game we've seen before. I'm Josiah Ingalls, and I have spent so much time on record and doing what I can to fight for those that are most vulnerable, fighting for those that have no voice, fighting for better education. I work every day to better the lives of other people, often even when I do not benefit from it. That's the sign of a real leader, someone who will sacrifice to help other people in need and other people's quality of life. This idiot keeps saying that he wants to do that job, that he can do that job, that he is doing that job. But he keeps screwing over the state of Texas every chance he gets. So this coming election cycle, I'd like you to kick this man out of office. And let's have some 
real representation, someone that has substance, that's bringing good ideas, and actual potential solutions that really can go somewhere. His partisan rhetoric is just wasting more tax dollars, more time in Congress. It's not getting us anything. It's not helping us. So this coming election, let's kick him out. He's a stinky politician that's just selfish and doesn't really care about you or me. In the same way we toss dirty diapers in the trash and send them to the dump, we need to send this idiot to the dump. I'm Josiah Ingalls, and let's have some real leadership. Thank you.